How to delegate. Hello and welcome to VideoJug. As a manager, delegating tasks is more than a way of freeing yourself up to do important managerial things like drinking coffee and eating biscuits. Used wisely, delegation can be an effective way of getting a job done by giving the right tasks to the right people. We're going to show you how to delegate effectively. Step 1. Know your team. Like the captain of a tightly run ship, you need to keep an eye on how your team works. As individuals complete various tasks, note their respective strengths and weaknesses. Take note of who thrives on what and which individuals struggle with certain tasks. This way, when it comes to delegating a particular job, you'll have a better idea of who to give it to. Don't always give the same tasks to the same person. This will have ramifications for the rest of the team's confidence. Top tip. Don't be afraid to challenge members of your team with tasks that will stretch them. They need to be challenged in order to develop their skills and feel valued. Step 2. Define the task. Begin with the bigger picture. Divide the job up into individual tasks with a clear idea of how they fit together. Define exactly what each task is, what skills and experience it requires, and when you need it done by. This will help you decide who to give it to. Step 3. Speak to the employee. Take some time to go through the objectives of the task thoroughly so that the employee knows exactly what is expected of them and by when. Also, let them know how the task fits into the bigger picture. This will lend it a sense of purpose and will help to motivate them. Make sure the employee understands the standards by which you'll be measuring their work. Agree on these standards together and make them realistic and attainable. Top tip. Your job is to issue instructions on what needs doing, but you don't need to be prescriptive on how they should do it. Leave it to their own initiative as much as possible, but make it clear you're available to talk with them if they find themselves struggling. Step 4. Release and resource. Give the employee the authority they need to complete the task without obstruction, and make sure they have available all the resources they will need. This could entail assigning more staff to work with them or providing money or equipment. Step 5. Monitor their progress. Once you've given them the task, don't spend all day peering over their shoulder. Let them get on with it, but schedule a date for the first progress report. This will give them an initial deadline to work to and will be a chance for you to keep an eye on what they're up to without crowding them. This progress report will help you see whether they're on schedule and will give you an opportunity to help them get back on track if not. Top tip. At this meeting, don't bombard them with questions, but let them explain to you what they're doing and where they're going with it. Afterwards, set a date for the next progress report, and if there's anything that you need to do to facilitate the task, go and do it. Step 6. Feedback. Once the task has been completed, take some time for a debrief. Allow the employee the chance to evaluate their own work, where they think they did well or badly and what they would improve on. Praise them for their achievements and offer constructive criticism where appropriate. Also be honest if there's anything you could have done better. Perhaps ask them for feedback on your involvement. This will help you learn for next time as well. Done.